Hello, welcome back everybody. It is Monday, April 6th, the week of the 6th. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick announcement and I honestly, I, I'm doing it like this because I just really didn't feel like typing things out. So as you should know already, this week we only have three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday and the following Monday are your Easter break. So after talking to Mr. Earl, talking to Ms. Bergio, um, we thought that <clears throat> providing new content this week really didn't make a whole lot of sense because we're kind of at the end of our time of reviewing equations. So what we're going to be doing this week, I'm still posting a daily question. And as you'll see, those questions are going to get a little bit more complicated because I want us to, we've been doing really well with those one step uh, word problems that we've been working on. So I'm gonna like start adding a few more layers to those. This week in our schedule time, I'm actually going to be previewing one of the upcoming assessments. You're going to have, um, it's kind of a written assessment on, it, on word problems and equations, which you've been doing. You're also going to have a Google Forms quiz that's going to focus primarily on literal equations. Remember, that's the last thing that we did last week, talk about literal equations. Mr. Earl is also going to be giving you an assessment um, on the various vocabulary terms that he's been going over in his lesson videos and that you guys hopefully have been working on. Some of them should be familiar. Uh, Nothing, I know that nothing that he's talked about is something that's brand new. It's something that we've either talked about in class or he's talked to you guys about in our virtual classes uh, and things that you should know already. So remember this whole time we're using a good portion of this as review. So for this week, I want you to focus on those daily questions, focus on going back to any of the assignments that you have not had a chance to do yet from the beginning of term five. Everything for term five is on Google Classroom. If you go back to something that has a due date before term five, don't worry about that. The very first thing that was due, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, there's a question on there that it literally says like, so mister, what are we gonna be doing next? What are we doing this, this time? Going from there, that's the very first thing for term five. Everything after that, as you go up, if it says missing, if there's a grade on it that isn't what you want or what you know that you can, you're capable of, you can go back and redo things. For those of you that are completely caught up, use this time to just relax or to focus on some of your other classes. But some of us need this extra couple of days to play catch up, either because like technology wasn't working or for one reason or another, you're not done with everything that we've worked on so far for term five. Use this time to finish that so that when you go into the Easter break, you don't have to worry about anything for pre-algebra because you know I've got everything done. And when I come back next week, we'll have a quiz, we'll have another like couple of small assessments before we move on. So. Like I said, after talking to the other teachers, it made sense to use this time as like some catch up time. Normally we do that at the very end of the marking period or the end of the term. I wanna do it now so that you're not trying to do a whole bunch of stuff at the very end. If we can chunk it, if we can keep it going, um, having little times like this where we can come together and finish everything that was due, this is good. So use this time you have my number, you have my email, you have Mr. Earl's email, you have like a bazillion different ways of getting a hold of Ms. Bergio and uh, with me and with all three of us. So use us, use us as resources. If you have questions, anything, please come and find us or we will come and we'll be reaching out as well to make sure that you know and understand everything that you're supposed to. All right, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for checking out my bacon hat. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And like always, if you need help, please come and find us. Have a great rest of your day.